Welcome, Pete. Thank you. Um, you network convener for policy studies and politics of education. That right. sounds incredibly big subject. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, what's the main idea that bring people to your network? Okay, well, we are a critical policy uh, network, so we're involved in um, largely mapping and evaluating policy, uh, education policy, and anything that impinges on the politics of education. Uh, across Europe and um, looking in particular I suppose at the impact of policy on practice and how that gets transformed into practice through various um, routes. So, so when you're in the conference, what, mm. what's the kind of topics that your researchers are bringing to, to, to the conference? Okay, well we've got quite a diverse group actually. Um, we have a lot of research which looks at the European level so looking at the role of the um, OECD and then the European Union in moderating policy and looking across policy and supporting policy and acting to different member states. Uh, we look at national levels, we do comparative, a lot of people doing comparative work between different um, uh, similar policies, policies of inclusion or early childhood education in different countries and looking at how effective they are. A lot of work generated from PISA comparisons, statistical comparisons and tests and looking at the, the rationale and reasons behind some of the differences across Europe. Um, and then we have uh, very particular uh, people looking at policy within their own context, so maybe a very specific po um, policy within a particular region or a particular country, uh, which is of interest to other countries, but which is, uh, which is also part of the local environment of policy making as well. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we have a quite a diversity and then on top of that we also look at the politics of um, education research itself, so why it is that some kinds of research are funded and other kinds aren't, uh, what um, advantages are presented by the, uh, the way in which um, some forms of knowledge are privileged over others and who loses out because of that, um, and then the whole business of um, knowledge about education more generally, the politics of educational knowledge is an interesting area, especially in these times when we have issues to do with um, ownership of knowledge, uh, free movement of information. Um, these are all really up and coming areas as well. It's a lot. So we cover a huge amount. Yeah, we're a very diverse network, but the, the common thread, I think, to the network is that we all share a theoretical interest, which is uh, uh, the, the sociological underpinning. So we have a very strong critical theoretical framework that we all work in and so this common uh, way of looking at the world and way of examining the social world is what bind, binds us together um, and actually uh, that coupled to the focus on current events, current politics, current affairs uh, within the European context gives, gives us a sense of coherence despite diversity. And so I suppose then in, in that way the whole European dimension is fairly key to your network. It is key. Uh, it's key because as a network we're interested in politics, we're interested in some of the themes of European politics, we're interested in issues of migration, um, issues of populism, um, issues of uh, current concerns to do with industrialisation or post-industrialisation, um, but we're also interested in the response not just of the um, individual member states but of the European, uh, European Union, the European Commission, the different instruments of the European Union in that. Um, and of course there are members who are on the edge of that, um, and members who perhaps are not member states yet. So, so how would you see that fitting in then with the uh, era mission? Oh, uh, well very clearly because I mean, one of the aspects of the era which I very strongly resonate with, and so to most of the people um, I think who, who attend the conference every year, is this notion of being a transnational community of scholars. Um, we are genuinely um, uh, moving with ideas, cross communities from different parts of, uh, uh, of the world outside of Europe as well. Uh, but we are working together and we're collaborating and we're building new ideas together within a uh, European education space. What makes your network unique? Um, I think it's the actual focus on policy. So we, we bring a, um, a, a critical lens, not a cynical lens, um, 
but a, a sceptical lens. So we're looking at how the interests of policymakers and the interests of different groups, different actors, uh, who are tasked with supporting schools, supporting universities, supporting other education institutions in implementing policy, how their interests help to shape policy so that you don't always get what you think you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And we're also interested in the unintended consequences. The, there's a linearity to m m most common sense perceptions of what policy is like. You know, somebody creates a, a policy um, and then through a series of um, mechanisms it's implemented. And it's just not that simple. And what we are really um, um, interested in examining more de in more detail is who are the winners, who are the losers, uh, what's happening that isn't always expected, uh, what, what are the patterns, how do policies migrate from one place to another, um, and what, what, what does that actually mean for people on the ground, to the students in schools, to the teachers in schools, to the education leaders um, who are having to deal with this stuff. Yeah. Think back over the last three or four years in your network meetings, yeah? Mm -hmm. What's one thing you're proud of? What do you think? Yes, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've had a very clear agenda. I mean, one of the things you can't, when you're involved in politics as an area of academic interest, you can't get away from politics yourself. And one of the things we've always been interested in is the, 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 the push for, from ERA to be a diverse community, a community that embraces all of Europe. And, um, you know, we have noticed over the past that there's been a particular um, group of academics who've been regular attendees, largely from Northern Europe, um, the UK particularly, Scandinavia and Germany are very highly represented. And then if you look at Southern or Central Europe, there's a, a much lower representation. And one of the things we've worked at as a network is to try and make our, um, our, our network more inclusive. So we had, uh, in Copenhagen in uh, 2017, we had a... Um, an, a starting an initiative which uh, was about improving and increasing rather the amount of collaborative we, research that we do across the network, which is fully inclusive. So not just inclusive of different regions in Europe, but also inclusive of new researchers working alongside more experienced researchers. Um, and over the far, over the three years since then, we've gradually increased the number of collaborations that are going on. So you're talking about the communities there, do, do you have associations with other organisations outside the era? Um, as a group, we don't have any formal associations other than with our own uh, national organisations. Uh, but one of the things that we have been increasingly doing is working uh, with groups, for example, with the European Association of um, Head Teachers, the school principals, um, supporting their work in, in working uh, particularly on uh, European Commission projects. We're also looking at how we can uh, develop ways of working with, uh, with national associations like BERA because the, there's a very strong policy emphasis with the within British Bira, Education British British Association. Uh, but certainly it's, 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 it's an area which uh, we're hoping to develop alongside uh, links with, um, with, with universities um, which are less represented but, um, in the actual um, networks activities as well. Tell me, what do you like about the conference? Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's always a, um, a very um, uh, stimulating, exciting get-together. You know, the ideas that are within the network are uh, always at the cutting edge of policy research. We, we attract some fabulous um, scholars from across the world. Um, we also have lots of young uh, members of the network as well, dynamic young researchers who are uh, looking to develop their careers in policy research in Europe. Um, so it's a great mix and it's always an exciting mix. Well, thanks and good luck for the conference this year, Pete. Thanks, thanks very much. much. Thank you.